Uh, again, uh, in terms of the Q1 p &L, uh, I do have a, a fairly detailed staff memo in here, as well as included some, uh, some variants and uh, that's ours. Uh, variants and summary notes at the end. Uh, this is uh, no surprises in here, at least not to myself uh, or our staff who also reviewed it. I think everything's on track with where we expected it to be. Uh, you know, a couple of the side notes that I did put in here is that we closed quarter one with recognized 1.6 million in total revenue, uh, primarily led at this point in time by our uh, recreation program fees. Uh, to be expected, cost drivers, as always is the case, uh, staff and benefits. Um, annual insurance payments, pension payments, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, one large payment that was made, obviously, was the uh, annually required uh, unfunded liability payment to CalPERS that was uh, totaled out at 321000 for this fiscal year. But by paying it in one lump sum in advance, it saved the district uh, a little over 11000 in annual interest expense if we were to pay that on a monthly basis instead. Uh, for Q2, I do uh, foresee continued rec program revenue primarily coming in from the after school program and the preschool program, uh, as well as approximately 55% of our general property taxes and special assessments should be recognized at some point, usually around mid December through the county uh, and allocated to our treasury fund. Uh, as of October 31st, our cash balance in our general treasury fund was actually stated at uh, 1.17 million. Uh, this is a significant increase over the same point in time last year. Uh, as you will recall, last year we actually did not take out a dry period loan from the county. There wasn't a need to do that. I certainly don't foresee a need to do that this year given our current cash balance and uh, forecasted expenditures. Uh, it is, again, important to note, this is strictly a snapshot of cash balance. Uh, I'm happy with it. This is a positive financial trend. We can see it in a good direction. Net revenue gains are growing, but so are unfunded liabilities. Uh, the need for large capital expenditures are certainly moving, and the district is also preparing to establish uh, separate reserve funds held in investment accounts, so that will reduce some of that cash balance as well, but I don't think to any unsustainable levels by any stretch uh, at this point in time. I think we're looking as good as we have uh, in any prior year. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Any questions? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I have a few okay. detailed ones. Okay. Um, starting with page one. Um, on the revenue um, expense reimbursement, which is 4570110, um, is, was, um, is that? I don't think it should be said. I think that this is almost entirely wreck. Uh, the majority of those are going to fall under, and Luke can probably speak to this and encourage them to. Uh, a lot of the times what, where we recognize expense reimbursements has to do with our first aid trainings uh, that we offer through Red Cross because we pay Red Cross in advance for those, uh, for the certification fees, and then those are recouped. Uh, so that is actually just the fee portion of it and not the general revenue portion of it. And then um, service contract revenue for 99920 right underneath, is that the current one? Oh, as far as the budgeted amount goes? Yeah, that is for uh, County Farm. Okay, so, so Juvenile Hall, Rotary Village. Exactly. Um, That's what I thought. Um, advertising building. sales. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear what, what kind of funds you said for that 91 grand. That's for our contract with the county for the county farm area. Uh, the little area oh, that kind of okay. exists up in state 13 that we do every year. Thank you. Um, the advertising sales, is that basically sales for the review? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And um, moving on to page three, um, the capital outlay new equipment, is that the park truck? Um, no, that is actually, uh, and this is just always where it's been captured, which probably isn't the best space. That's actually the annual payment for the engineers. 
engine lease. Yeah, for the fire engine. Mm. If yes. not, and lease isn't even the right term. It's our annual it's payment. It's not like we give it back when we're right. our lease runs up. Um, what what number was lease. that that you were just What's talking that? about? It is a lease. It is a lease. It's a it's lease to purchase. It's a yeah. It's a bank loan, basically, is what it's through. And the but we will own it when it's done. Ms. Perry, excuse me, what number, can you refer to the numbers so that I can see um, them on? It's page three, next to last, it says capital outlay new equipment. That's what we've been talking about. But what is the number at the beginning of it? Four, four. Five, two, two, zero, nine, one, six. Thank you. That's what I'm looking at. And right above that um, is the improvements. Five, two, two, zero, nine, one, oh. Um, is that for the uh, kitchen? Right. Uh, some of it is correct. Um, did I, I thought I put a, uh, did I a note on that. Did I not? There was no. Uh, I'm sorry. Because in the um, the reason I'm asking is because on page nine there is a capital outlay and the budgeted amount is twelve thousand, but we expended forty one thousand. So I'm right, but page nine would be departmental and right. not district wide. Right. So then, um, wouldn't. Oh, for fire, yeah. The majority of that. There's two things. It's going to be the carryover from the kitchen. So at it's some point we'll have to do an amendment, and it is also the uh, HVAC install that was done in the firehouse. That was a budgeted item. That was that was the twelve thousand was the HVAC piece, but. Uh, for at the time we approved the budget, we still didn't have the whole completion timing for the kitchen, so it'll just need to be an amendment going forward. It was made known at that time that we we're expecting the cost to carry into, right, right. It was budgeted last year, not this year. Finally, on last page in your uh, write-up, uh, what are NEM tune-ups? Uh, net energy meter. Oh. Mm -hmm. True-ups, I think is what it's called. True-ups, yes. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. General question. The listing is for the revenue expenses for the first quarter, mm -hmm. but the budget is for the entire year. Correct. And our expenditures or revenue aren't linear across the whole year. Correct. Which makes it really difficult to figure out where we really are. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that's why I try to put some of the notes. No, I appreciate on the, the notes. Yeah, because some of these are annual expenditures, some actually are linear, things like utilities, so on and so forth. Um, but I can't, it, I could go in and say, great, show me a, a quarter of the actual budget, but then that's not going to be representative because a lot of these things, uh, such as, uh, you know, the unfunded pension liabilities or our uh, general insurances, we pay in lump sums that are usually within the first month of the fiscal year. So we do not budget on a monthly basis, we budget on an annual basis. Correct. Anybody else? Just have a general question. First of all, thank you for the notes. They explained just about everything I needed to see. Uh, one thing from the work on the capital expenditures spreadsheet about two years ago, we did have the floor refinishing for the community center somewhere there. Did it happen sooner than anticipated? Um, I don't know about sooner. I'd have to revisit what we anticipated mm -hmm. originally, and that's actually one of the sheets that I have been working on and do want to bring uh, uh, to the table in a future meeting. Just simply didn't get a chance to do it for this particular meeting, given the uh, events of the last month uh, and uh, resources allowed. Uh, if you need some energy from me on that, I'll be happy to meet with you. That would be lovely. I would gladly accept it. Um, but in terms of anticipated versus needed um, you know it's one of those the more use and wear it gets the more often it needs to be done in terms of refinishing uh, which is also different than full-blown sanding and resealing okay. and doing everything else fair enough just a general question on here do i understand that we're paying an old bond measure a new bond measure and operating costs uh, I actually don't think we are paying a new bond measure because I think that got approved by the voters uh, and is being taxed directly to the voters. Chief Gray could probably tell me That's better right. on that. But we are paying the old bond measure as well as a refinancing note uh, that is 
which is very minor in comparison. The refinancing to, note is the third. That's the one that happened in 2007. Okay, all right, got it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so there are two different components. That was, plus that's an better, right. a better answer than I had hoped, because, or that I had thought, because I thought we were not paying the new one. But yeah, no, we helps. are. Yeah, we're the agency is not paying Correct. the bond measure. Correct. We're paying on the older uh, bond measure and the refinancing you note, know, as well as the operating costs, which are stated in a different line. Correct. Right. Understood. Thank you. All of which have all been paid. Yep. All right. Anything else from the board? Questions, comments from the public? Um, this is kind of what Mr. Naylor was talking about, but I my question is a little bit different. The community center floor sanding and refinishing, number 5220310. I s which department is that included in and how much did that cost? 5220310. It's under recreation. Land and building maintenance. Right, land and building maintenance affects all three of those departments. That specific expense would have been applied to rent. How much did it cost? I don't remember. I don't have that number immediately. But, but you applied it to all? No, it would have applied to, rec to the recreation department. To the rec department. Correct. The entire rec money was for the rec department. Thank you. Thank you. Stephen? Yeah, so I looked at this earlier tonight and I thought, wow, why are we so far off our, on our budget? But uh, fortunately, Irv clarified that we're only looking at a quarter and we're comparing it to a year-long budget. I'm wondering if there's a different way that this can be presented so we understand how we're doing, um, you know, period by period. Um, I don't think this is a very uh, informative uh, uh, report because of that. that. You really don't know where we stand. Um, and we do know we have uh, expenses that happen on a periodic basis as well as revenues. Um, I was, one thing that did pop out to me, and that was public programs, and it looks like we made a grand total of 7,000, 9,000? I forget what it was. Um, and that seemed rather low to me, but. Yes, I, I mean, you know, if if you're a salesman working for me and you brought me these numbers, I'd go, well, <laughs> you guys got to work a little harder because I, I don't see I don't see the progress. Um, I, I don't know. I think I think I think the the uh, the controls uh, need improvement. Uh, because I don't think anyone in this room actually understands uh, where we stand. Thank you. I have right. one comment real quickly. Um, would it be true that um, the second fiscal quarter when revenues have come in will generate a more reasonable picture of our, um, after, the, after the revenues are received and the Variance report after the end of the fiscal year, again, where revenues are received, we generate a, a little bit more of a perfect view of our operations. Sure, mm -hmm. not true. Sure. Yeah. That's just the way it is. We don't get quarterly payments, we get semi annual payments. Uh, in terms of tax revenue, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's put it up on item G.